Yo, 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 no offense, today we're going to be playing as the shooting guard, number 28, Crazy Lazy. We won both of our games, number 2 and number 3, and now we're in game 4. We're going to be playing the national championship against the Wisconsin Badgers. Let's go! Oh my god, did you see those dance moves? Those looked great. Alright. Here we go. The national championship game. Let's go. And the national championship game just begun. We won the tip off. We're playing against Wisconsin. Can I make the first three of the championship? And I do! The first three of the national championship game. Me. I'm too good. You can't guard me. I'm too good. Let's go. Oh, I broke his hand. Oh, and it got blocked. Rebound. Give me it. There we go. 5 nothing, Michigan. Oh, don't let him drive. Block that, baby. Black City. There we go. Give him the ball again. Ooh. That's it. There we go. 13-9. Oh, I got the rebound. Come on. Oh, that's it. Every day, baby. 16-14. Michigan. Let's win this title, baby. Oh, no. All right, let's go. Let's take this lead right here. Oh, dunk it! There we go, baby! Away. Oh, and I got the steal! There we go! Let's dunk this ball! Let's dunk it! Come on! There we go! Yes, baby! No one's stopping me! No one! Well, there we go. I'm going to have two free throws. I missed the first one somehow. Oh my god, what the heck was that? Let's go. Oh, there we go. Yes, we're up by three. 25 seconds left. Let's go. And the Badgers take their last time out. Oh, no. And he misses the three. Let me get a buzzer. And I missed the buzzer over championships. Crazy Lazy did it. He won back-to-back -back championships. There we go. I'll see you next time at the draft. Hi, Mama. How you doing? I'm fine. Does she have to be here? Yes. Mr. Pagnotti, the agent I was telling you about, he's in the room, too. How you doing, ma'am? I'm good. Nice to meet you. What a pleasure to finally meet the queen mother of this young, talented man, even if only by telephone. That's sweet. Hang on, Frequency. Here comes your father. All right. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hope everyone's well. How you hey, doing, Daddy. Mr. Bob? I'm doing good. So let's get to it. Yeah, let's do this. We all know why we're here. This meeting is strictly confidential, 100% off the record. Didn't happen, we weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche means understand in Italian. Capiche? Capiche. Yeah. Freaking sister that I have his entire family here. And I think it's great that he has a good support system around him. I've been doing this a very long time. I work with some of the best. Now, let me rephrase that. I work with the best. And the best always seem to have a great support system around them. A family, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Let's cut to the chase. Leaving college early now and entering this year's NBA draft is the right move 
right now. And when you sign with me, Dom Pagnotti, as your agent, I will make sure you are well taken care of. I will make sure you are protected. With this freaking environment, yeah. I love it. Freaking environment. This freaking environment thing you do when you get hot freak, we're gonna make you more money off the court than you will on. We already have endorsements and things like that in mind, so. Cece, I said we because we're gonna do this together. We're a team. We're team freak. But freak, you need to be in the league first, right? That's why I'm here. No, yeah, I hear you, Mr. Pagnotti, but like I told you before, I already promised my parents four years of college. That's the plan, man. That's right. Plans change, change freak. freak. Listen. In life and in basketball, you need to adapt and change to the situation at hand. Now, even if you have the greatest coach and they draw up the greatest play and all the X's and O's make perfect sense on paper, you still need to react to what the defense shows you and then make your move. This is the right move. This is the right move now. And four years of college is a great plan for basically anybody. But you're not just anybody. You are the greatest collegiate talent I have ever seen shoot, dribble, pass, and defend a basketball my entire time on this great planet Earth. Now, Miss Martha, Mr. Pete, I have seen so many of the greats jump right from high school to the pros. Freak, you've at least experienced college. You know what that is. You've been there. You've done that. I am offering you now a chance at the experience of a lifetime. Do you know how many people would love to be in those Jordans right now? Yeah, Freak, I mean, what if you get hurt? You remember how you came down on your ankle in that game earlier this year? Oh, yeah, but I was nothing. Right, we know it was nothing, but next time it could be something. I saw that. Good game, but BAM! Just like that, and you could be flipping burgers. Well, maybe not flipping burgers. Maybe you're the manager or assistant manager at some burger joint. Maybe I do a favor and make a call, and you're a delivery boy at Sal's Famous Pizzeria. But the bottom line is, you will be a long, long, long ways away from signing multi-million dollar contracts with me, mm. Don Pagnotti, as your mm. agent. So it's all about the money, right? When was it not all about the money? Money isn't everything. No, it isn't, sir, and no disrespect was meant. But freak, money is freedom. The freedom of choice, the freedom to live. Money is the difference between renting and owning, between being the waiter and being waited on. It's the difference between being the chauffeur or being chauffeured. Now, do you want to be a chauffeur? This here is a contract. This makes me your agent. Sign on the dotted line, and I will take you and your family to the promised land. Like I said, Mr. Pagnotti, it's not all about the money. Pete, let the man finish. He made his point. He's finished. Aren't you finished? I said my piece, but I know I'm right. You guys should talk. Pete, what if frequency does get hurt? Shouldn't he take this opportunity now? What if the boy goes pro, gets hurt, and then doesn't have a college degree? Look how hard we work for him to get to where he is. But college isn't for everybody. Pete, you didn't go. That's why we work so hard for him. I'm just saying, I mean, if he's ready to do this now as opposed to later, Pete, anything can happen. You're right. Anything could happen. This is his future. This You're is his life. You're not listening to me, Pete. Not just a game. All right, all right, all right. Mom, Pops, it's all right. Look, truth be told, I don't even know what I want to do right now. I understand that. Yeah, but I was talking to my boy Vic the other day. Why? He, and he was making a lot of sense. He thinks I should leave early, too. You know what? I've, I, no, no, I've kept quiet this whole time, and I also think that Freak should join the league. I think it's a great business decision, and I think that Mr. Pagnotti is absolutely right. Thank you, Yvette. You're welcome. Now, Freak, I know for a fact that people have been talking about the company you keep, and you need to be careful. It could compromise what we're trying to do here. What are you trying to say? You know, your association with that guy Victor off the court, it could compromise your selection in a draft. As a matter of fact, I know it will. Do you realize the difference in dollars between being drafted first overall and 21st? You're talking tens of millions of dollars. You don't get it, do you? CC, our first sneaker deal alone, you're talking a difference of a 50 to 100 million dollar difference just by that. Number one, that's what we need. If I were not 1,000% convinced in my mind and in my heart that we could get you drafted first overall, I wouldn't be like this. This is the play. This is the move, freak. You've got to listen and to I, me. I, I absolutely hear you, but who are they to tell me who I can't hang with my brother? No, freak, you need to listen to him. I've been telling you the same exact thing. Mr. Dom, Frequency and Victor grew up together. They're best friends. We took the boy in and practically adopted him. Martha, I told you that boy ain't nothing but trouble. He's family. Okay, but that's my boy, and he agrees with y'all. It's not about agreeing with Vic. We're trying to prepare you for your future. You know, but it is his future. So this is none of your business. You still Excuse me? Yeah. 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 You still have a decision to make. Sign with no, me, yes or no. Can I just, can I just interrupt for one sec? Everybody just settle down, please. Now, I appreciate you all taking the time in this heated discussion, but the truth of the matter is, there's only one person in the room that can make this decision. 
Now, son, you know how I feel. Right. Education is the most important thing in life. But this is your choice. It's not your mother's or your sister's or mine. Mm. It's not your girlfriend's. It's not Mr. Pagnotti's. And it definitely ain't Victor's. This is your decision, son. So you tell us what you want to do. I need 30 seconds, freak. OK. I have four beautiful children, and I want each of them to go to college and graduate. But if you walked up to any one of those four children right now and said, I will give you a contract that's worth 100, 200, 300 million dollars, I would say, bypass college. You can always go back. I want you to graduate. I want you to get your doctorate. I want to call you Dr. Freak. But you need to understand this. Now, you can go all over this beautiful country that we live in and go into any of the major universities. You will find people that are 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 80 years old, and you will find them graduating. But if you live to be 500 years old, you will never see ever, ever somebody 40, 50, 60 years old being drafted from college into the NBA. We need to strike while the iron is hot. This is your life. We will get you drafted first overall. You will be up there with all the big names. I'm not talking first rounder. I'm talking first overall. Listen to me. This is what Mr. I do. I am the best at what I you do. Have had Nobody your 30 is better. Seconds plus. Miss Martha, I am sorry. You Mr. just need Bagnotti, to understand. Would you please let my wife speak? I apologize. Frequency. Baby, what do you want to do? Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Cece go through this contract, front to back. I'm going to think about it, sleep on it, pray on it, and I will call you in the morning. All right. Listen, Mr. Pete, Miss Martha, it was a pleasure meeting the two of you over telephone, and I look forward to meeting you both in person. Remember, everybody, this meeting never took place. We weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche. OK. All right, Mom, Pops, I'm going to call you guys later. I love you. Love you, I right, love you, too, son. Bye.